What it do, it's your boy, it's your friend, it's your brother, Montez, y'all. And as you can see behind me, it's like a lot of like arts and craft clutter stuff. But that's because today we are introducing Nicola Faison, one of the Levites. She is amazing. She will also be director of the Making Branch. I am so excited for her. But y'all, we're just going to take a little time out to just know who she is. So here's Nicola. Hi, my name is Nicola Faison and I'm a Levite member. Really? I started dancing. My first time dancing was at church. So my daughter was a part of our praise dance team and they decided to do a mother-daughter Mother's Day dance. That really got me started after doing that. I really enjoyed it. But my biggest, um, I guess you can say, obstacle was that my body didn't really like to move too much. Uh, medical issues stopped me from doing a lot of the things that I wanted to. Um, push through it, God's allowed me to be able to overcome a lot of the medical issues so that I could fulfill my love of dancing. Uh, where Levites are concerned, as I worked through the church dance group, um, I began to realize how much it did touch me to dance and how much I wanted to join the Levite team. And from there, my biggest inspiration was my stepmother. October 7th, 1986. Levi, 83. Nowadays, gospel is my favorite style of music yeah of course like you would ask me this question five ten years ago i probably would have said r&b hip-hop but now one i can't stand the style of r&b and hip-hop again being an 80s baby growing up in the 90s it's just not the same but two as you get older you realize that a lot of things you go through you need gospel in your life so that is my favorite as of right now in the stage that I am in in life. Artist wise, I love a good Tasha Page Lockhart, Tasha Cox Leonard. Um, Jonathan McReynolds has become one of my favorites here within the last year. I like how he has kind of a mix of an R&B but gospel artist, so I'm really liking him a lot too. So I would say those are probably my three favorites right now. <laughs> so art, 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 I could say is a hobby. I don't do it as much as I used to, and I know I probably need to, but that has really been a passion of mine since I can remember. I love anything creative, mentally, physically, just all of it. So art and dance would be my biggest two. Man, that's hard. Favorite food, chips and cheese good Mexican queso and some chips candy it would be a toss-up between Hershey's with almonds or pokies and you said drink right drink you can't get it here but my ultimate favorite drink is Rabina it's a concentrated juice drink from England Christmas okay. um, how many siblings do you have three I'm a tad bit weird. I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess you could say I'm fun. I don't take things too seriously. At least try not to. A um, little quirky. Don't take much to, you know, irritate me a tad bit, I guess you could say. But for the most part, I would say I'm a fun-loving person who doesn't let a lot of things bother them. Yeah, and just a little odd. But I think odd's a good thing sometimes. My purpose in life is to be a good person that my children can look up to and have something to show for the time I've spent on this earth. Start over. <laughs> Listen to your parents wholeheartedly and everything you're thinking of doing, just don't do it. Going through our first year together here in Macon, I think the upcoming Levi's, the biggest thing is that you all need to know in advance is one, if it's not truly in you, it's not for you. You know, we do, we are a worship arts team. And yes, the most important thing is the worship that we're able to bring to other people and setting an atmosphere. But ultimately, if it's not within you first, you can't do that. 
and all the things that we do, the determination, the time we put into this, the dances in itself, and then also the next level of going out and being able to minister to other people, it's got to be rooted there for you to be able to take all of those steps, the levels, and to be able to pretty much bring something to the dynamic we already have. Um, one of the big things that I can honestly say that we do well is that we are a family. We take care of each other. We try to make sure that we can really be in tune with each other's emotions and feelings. And I mean, even just coming through the door, being able to tell on what mood someone may be in or if they're okay or if they're not okay. And I think all of that is deeper than just dance. It's because we love why we do what we do, but then also we have a love for what Levite stands for and what we're representing as a group. My biggest dream is to be able to look back over my life and say, my children are successful and I have no regrets for the things that have happened throughout my life. Uh, on a superficial level, I could honestly say one of the dreams I have is to create a successful business, but then also complete my interior design master's program. On a whole scale, like I said, it's just to be able to look back and truly say that I raised my children right and they have good memories of life with us. Yeah, that'd be the biggest thing that I'll let my kids down or that I'll pass away before they are adults. As much as I hate the neck on that leotard, my favorite one is the silver. The silver and white is just beautiful. I hate the stank and glitter neck, but outside of that, I love that one. Okay. That neck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, that's hard. It's really, it's it's torn between Jesus. <laughs>